trouble. He's going to be buzzing all over the place. Shaori Joseph's got to shut him down very early on. Don't be afraid to put a little body into him. And lastly, they need some defensive organization. Michael Parkhurst, the rookie, he's really got to keep things tight back there. Ownership of Twelman and Noonan, and certainly a lot to be said as Cancela is tugged to the ground by Zatella, who will be booked, second booking of the match. Quick restart, they'll bring it back. What I was going to say, Greg, though, I don't think enough is made of the talent in the Revolution midfield, at least by some parties, arguably most talent in MLS. Well, I think it's beginning to happen around the, the, the league that there's a respect for the Revolution midfield. The five, they've been, uh, the, the three, especially in the middle, have been together for a couple of years, and Steve Rawlson out wide. And what's interesting about watching the five is that they know how to, to interchange, and you sometimes see even James Riley and Steve Rawlson sucked into the middle, and, and then they can knock the Ball, little tiny touches to each other. Franchino and Cancela behind the ball. Midnight Riders behind the goal. Franchino plays it in. Bull wins the header. Heaps. Heaps chips it in. Dempsey, goal! score with his head we know that heaps is good in the air good looking stuff from New England this all comes from a lot of pressure in the bot in the back for the Columbus crew the revs just keep applying keep applying pressure finally whip the ball in there and Clint Dempsey you know he's not afraid to get his head anywhere and he just dies in front of the defender just get a goal at any cost great goal by Clint Dempsey there Dempsey with his first Ralston lays it wide to Dempsey Two men making runs down the middle. Ralston and Twelman. He plays Twelman, still going. Taylor Twelman. Now Ralston. The shot to flex. It was Dempsey running onto it. Noonan. The shot. 2 0. Hello. It's Noonan going to the fourth. The Revs may have put this one away. He's not going to finish that after the ball is just bouncing everywhere on this case. Comes out to him, easy, uncorks it. Thank you very much. Well, Clint Dempsey started the Dempsey dive, and then some other players picked up on it. But it's a great connection between the players and the fans here at Gillette Stadium. Noonan with the second analysis piece. And we also heard him mic'd up the communication between Heaps and Parkhurst and Riley and some of the other defenders, and that's a big part of it. Am I wrong? Uh, you're not wrong. I mean, communication is everything in the defense. This is 12 minutes into the box. He plays it square. Dorman, it's on the goal line. Is it in? They're saying yes. the work rate of Andy Ro Dorman. You talked about the havoc he causes in the box. Yeah. We talked about it also that it gets back on defense, but look at him just make it. I mean, he screened for about 45 yards to, to get to the end of this. Great ball by Taylor Dorman. Great work. Dorman gets in there, just sneaks over the goal line. It's definitely a goal. You can see. It will be an entertaining campaign and very likely a winning one. And that is the final whistle from referee Terry Vaughn. Steve Nichol gets the victory in the home opener. The Revs with a very impressive performance to defeat the Columbus Crew 3-0. Dempsey's goal proving to be the game winner. That man, Jay Heaps, setting up with his first assist of the season in his 100th game in a Revs uniform. The Texas Tornado scoring with his head. We'll be back in Gillette Stadium to wrap this up right after this. We'll watch New England Revolution Soccer on WB56. Stay with us, folks. Red win 3-0.